campus is going to look different this fall compared to past years. First of all, a lot of our students are going to be taking courses online. So as a result, we're going to have a lot less people on campus, which will really help us enable physical distancing. We've also taken a good look at our campus right from when you get on site to when you come to the front door of a building all the way to when you get to the classroom. We're asking that all of the university community wear non-medical masks in indoor common spaces. So that means areas like lobbies, hallways, elevators, and even the classroom. We're also providing all students, staff, and faculty two non-medical face masks. We put seating restriction signs in areas where we're asking people not to sit. And we've also marked the majority of our hallways with which directions that we can ensure people are staying two meters apart. In the classrooms, you'll see signs reminding people where to sit, signs pointing out where our hand sanitizing gels are, also maximum capacity signs in the classroom, as well as all of the common use spaces on campus. Most of our elevators you'll see have a capacity now of just one or two. We put signs on the floors so that you know where to stand when you enter an elevator. And we'll be disinfecting all classrooms and all common use spaces uh, once a day, as well as disinfecting high touch points, things like elevator buttons, doorknobs, twice a day. Well, I'm confident that our campuses will be ready come the fall term. We put all the necessary actions in place, and we've made sure that physical distancing is achievable right across all of our properties.